Hello traders, it's Ray here better known as Samurai Trader and I love day trading. My job is to teach you how to trade the world's best day trading strategies no matter which market you trade, futures, forex or stocks. Now this is session two so you may be going from watching session one straight into this but I do need to give a very quick recap for those that are watching this for the first time. First of all, uh, I do need to pull up the disclaimer there is a risk in trading please feel free to pause the video to read the disclaimer now you can also and I'll quickly be showing you this in a moment the spreadsheets that I use for calculating how quickly you can actually double your account realistically and increase your income it's so important traders that you have a goal in mind and you set of course it's got to be realistic that's important you've got to have the right money management and I've got a little video where I teach you how to use that calculator so make sure you download that also make sure you subscribe to my channel better still come and join me in my trading classes you get my entire program for $197 end of ad let's get into it you may remember in video one I also mentioned that the maximum risk rule we use is 2% as I was just showing you in video one that in session one that trading the one tick rank I've got a six tick stop when I'm trading with the tick charts I've got typically around an eight tick stop and very quickly hundred dollars a day gets you up to earning 10,000 a week within 44 weeks so watch session one where I go through this in great detail and explain this you get up to around 300 a day which is real a very very realistic target for a trader trading during the New York hours okay look at the income potential within 11 weeks and remember you're only adding uh, a contract uh, as you double or increase your account by six thousand dollars so you may remember um, let's jump straight back to the charts I think why don't we do that you may remember we were talking about as we finished up uh, let me just get that here for you about this little uh, long trade now this is actually a 2d one we would have taken uh, I would have taken at least as a divergence trader and the reason being I have got divergence right here and over here on my anchor chart we actually call this a 2d now a 2d uh, and of course it could fail I mean we've got a strong downtrend of course it can fail my target actually is up here at the cyan line now my risk there is six ticks entering on the close of, a, of the fourth candle one stop below all new traders I really recommend that you do not trade counter trend trades until you are consistently profitable trading with the trend or trading what we call the wide swings and more on that as we go along now one thing with this trade this has now been going for a good 10-15 uh, minutes now there are a couple of different types of stops that we have one of those is a fixed stop where it can come down and take me out but we also have what we call a time based stop that is if you go sideways something may have changed we are what we call momentum traders we want to see the trade moving in our trade direction now this one uh, I would stay committed because it has turned into a double bottom now remember my profit I've got to get past this that black line of course is our 80 cent level my target here is the cyan line now in breaking the cyan we are then coming up here to our 200 that will be our next bounce point now of course we may go punch straight through it but we've got a good 85 percent chance if we break the cyan we will bounce at the 200 now right now if I have taken this trade down here and of course I'm not on this live I would only be up one tick now we'd be up to we've got to get past that 80 cent level okay now also once I hit the cyan uh, which is an 89 EMA I would then if it stalls for very long I would then exit that trade because these are very very powerful reflection points okay so we've actually got three of them here we've got the 80 cent level 
we've got the uh, the 89 and we've got the 200 and this is once again about taking what the market will give us we are counter trend don't forget what is important traders at all times that when you start your trading day off and let me just turn that ATR off it's a bit of a pain there just get rid of that uh, we, we always want to expand our charts just to see what's been happening over the, the day okay so we can see there that we have been now this is quite a deep pullback it's what we call a pivot bounce at this stage so here we've now formed uh, a little um, uh, another little double top the probabilities of my long trade working out are sort of dropping dramatically here with this time it's taking I would probably I'm just thinking here I probably stay committed to it one thing you've got to get really used to is when you go from trading the New York hours across to the uh, Asian session the Australian out the market is so much slower now I know we can look at a one tick and say well it flies at times yes however a trade can sometimes take a couple of hours it really can but let's get back to the main um, uh, session here and let's look at our 55 tick chart now we can now see my white paint my white paint bar is plotted we've now got a little double bottom there you've also got one that actually set up on your tick chart so this is where having one reason to take a trade is okay having three or four or five reasons is so much better and this is where we have both Renko and tick charts will come in and work together now remember this is a CT trade counter trend trade it's also on lower time frames when we trade a low time frame we've got to remember we also have a lot more noise in the market a lot more false moves okay that's what you've got to watch with that so we can see we've got the 55 of uh, a 50 tick at this stage there's my anchor there's my anchor ch um, chart two what we're now going to do is go to our standard tick chart that we'd be using during the New York session and let me just scroll right back here I just want to find a day I'm just looking at the bottom look let's just start from here okay so what we're looking at I'm going to do what we call some right hand chart reading for you now at this stage you can see we and let me just scroll it along a bit further and I'll expand this chart for you right now okay so we're going to expand this chart and what you'll notice here is the black lines the lines that I've put in manually and I do this every month on every contract where we'll go and put in uh, the, the round number zero very specific um, uh, things you want to be aware of when you're trading the black gold okay such as divergence trades now blind Freddy can see that we've got a beautiful one here now what's the difference between say this one here that one there You've got some divert and this one here notice here we've really we've got quite a large overshoot past the 50 cent level now what that actually does it makes the trade that really decreases the probability of that trade that's a great one um, uh, and that is actually what we call a t3 I won't get into that now but see how price action is separated from the trigger line there right that's a nice a really nice t3 but look over this one here right see how we're bouncing around at the 80 cent level so that really um, uh, qualifies that very nicely so what we now want to do is start to look at what's happening with price action um, uh, from going from our side sorry from the right hand side I'm just making my point a slightly smaller traders because what it does it stops me from seeing the uh, the timestamp on the candle so can I see it now I oh, barely see it anyway so uh, the date on this if you'd ever like to go back and have a look this is the uh, 3rd of the 5th 2021 so this is at 747 let me just move that out the way 747 so let's just start with this here so the volume is really starting to pick up so this is uh, Eastern Standard Time so first of all um, just to show you this here you had a beautiful little um, divergence trade just here 
and on your higher time frames because this is a one leg two leg three leg up you'll find you've got divergence on your anchor charts as well so now price comes down we form a nice little double bottom but um, that's easy to see after the fact I know and now we've got an, a beautiful little double top with divergence okay so we definitely would want to sell that double top now this is where it comes in to reading what's happening on the right hand side of the chart what's important traders is that we learn to read the stacking of the EMAs very important and there are two key setups that I've mentioned in session one it's the 34b and the 2b both of them kick butt every day right now because we are looking at the tick of 233 tick uh, we would have a stop typically we want to try to keep it at around eight ticks which is eighty dollars now during the New York session I really like and let me show you this I like the four tick Renko okay so one of the challenges we can have with the four tick Renko and just quickly flick that up is that if I enter on the close of a third can I put my stop under here I've got a $140 stop so that's the thing we want to try to keep our stop down as much as possible but that's another another lesson within itself so let's um look at this here so what am I now waiting for okay so we've just had a really nice trade there you can see that actually moved down 20 ticks which is $200 now as we break this I want you to notice here we call this follow the gold note the EMAs crossing here we call that a t20 I'm now looking for a pullback uh, back to the gold over here and I'm looking for a short trade my long-term stochastic is down I'm looking for a short trade and see that white paint bar just there now what that would be that is a red candle now uh, when you're trading and, and I know I'll have members watching this is you know when you're trading the 34 B's with CL you can just enter before the super scalper all right so let me actually turn it off it's probably going to be easier and what that does trade is for is that it means you can enter the trade earlier and you've got a smaller stop but what you don't want to do with CL is, is have a stop that's too tight so see that there I'd be really entering there uh, entering that particular trade and putting my stop one tick above now what is also important traders is that uh, I don't enter the trade too early I don't want to have the candle reverse so what I'm looking at then is my tick countdown timer here which will tell me uh, and remember this right now is on the current because we are live here so that's not on this candle here but of course on what's happening days in advance here but I want to see it basically close before I enter the trade now please remember traders if ever you're unsure say if you have a really deep pullback and it's say may a little bit marginal what you can actually do is wait for the candle to close on your anchor chart one as added confirmation so just here I'm going to have probably about um, a five six seven tick stop and my target there I want to really go for a minimum of eight ticks okay and we can see down here I've got here the 50 cent level so uh, I've got at least 12 ticks there that I can go down and target well bang we hit that now what am I now waiting for I've hit that uh, notice here we're just breaking through the 200 I'm now looking for another trend trade now I've just taken this as a random day so as I said uh, this is a week ago I can't even remember what happened on this day but what I'm now waiting for is a retracement and then what we call a trend continuation trade now let's just see here there are two things if I get a pullback to the 21 I want to have my super scalper plot if I go back to the 34 I'm quite happy to uh, enter on the red candle on the first candle now why is that I mentioned earlier that a 21 B is a lower probability trade so what I need traders is further confirmation on what may happen um, or, or that the trend is continuing at least 
okay so let's just see what happens okay now just there oh, I've turned never tried I've turned the super scalper off I'm just thinking why didn't that plot there so right there we would actually have the super scalper would have plotted here and I've got a short trade lined up now let's talk targets because we've already spoken about our entry um, I'd have probably about an eight tick uh, uh, stop there and by um, trade stations thinking there and our next level is down here at the 6320 there we can see it right down there is a major support line so if you were trading a single contract I would be recommending you consider exiting at plus eight that is take eight ticks you've got an eight tick stop now you can trail but quite frankly look it can be a bit choppy at times nothing worth it's nothing more disappointing you go down and you hit eight ticks and it comes back and you just get out of break even really and you only need three or four eight tick trades a day and you're doing really well and what's so good about that one and that one look at the fanning of your EMAs okay so here is our target right down here now for trailing by the way we can be trailing using a whole range of things here we could be using a parabolic SAR um, which stands for stop and reverse we could be using our ATR stop and flip you can use the Jake Bernstein 8 by 8 there's a, a whole lot of things we can do to be trailing here now as we come down to the 20 cent level you know what we're going to be doing pulling our stops now that's a good 10 20 that's basically 20 ticks $200 in that move but you'd be pulling your stop mighty tight right now why when we get down to the 20 cent and 80 cent <laughs> there it is there we nearly always will get a bounce now let me turn the super scalper black back on black on back on uh, as always traders my videos are raw real and unedited <laughs> okay so if I fluff any whoops wrong wrong indicator that's the rule of one uh, that's my let me just turn this off sorry what have I done here let me get rid of that uh, that's what we call the rule of one which is for Renko only we don't want to have a rule of one on tick uh, Ray super scope here we go there it is there okay so um, what I'm going to do is say right now or in a moment now we've now got a long trade to go long why remember over here I said to you about having a t3 set up just there see that you've even got a t3 there but there's a, a little challenge with that one you've shot past the um, our, our line but also note how close you are to the major EMAs I'm going to give you something which is is worth thousands of dollars a year in profits to you and another little thing that most traders don't know we're trading tick charts notice the gapping away from the trigger line here note the distance from my entry to the 34 EMA see that distance there right we are 18 ticks away from there the probability of this going and kissing the 34 when I've got a t3 is probably 90% now here I'm going to have an eight tick stop with a two to one risk reward return I want to take this long trade now my entry would be on the close of the third candle or one tick above that second so really I'd be in now okay would be taking this trade now okay so up we go and members you know what we've got right there we've got a t20 just there All right so now we've come up and thank you very much what do I have right now okay so a nice little winner here right now I don't have anything now this is one thing with tick charts see this here you've got a concept that's been around for years it's called uh, either a money on the floor or a kaching trade or the slingshot been around for 50 60 years those setups but what you've got to be very careful of traders is taking them when you're too far out of your EMAs now here we've got a very strong level up above uh, and you could probably get away with a six tick stop so see that right there so see how I've got a uh, uh, right here oh any other thing sorry I just realized we've also got the market open it's 9 a.m. and let me just discuss that about oil uh, 
if I'm trading the ES NASDAQ or um, there's no way known I want to be in personally unless I've got a very very large time frame on trading being at the open I call it the killing field we've got members that do trade it and they love the open uh, but, but they've got a certain strategy they use personally I don't like the open however CL is different okay you can trade the open no problems on CL look at the distance here look I mean look for distance. look at the time frame that's five minutes okay uh, that's one minute uh, this one here now is that's three minutes in you've got no problems if you're willing to use a market order by the way now some will say I don't want to use the market order I'll, I'll get a tick or two of slippage well that's only nickels or dimes when you're picking up 10 tick moves traders okay so this is why you've got to really go back and test your strategy soundly but what I've got above I've got basically this is a cross between a t10 and a slingshot there I've got the 80 up there right so I'm going to be quite happy to get in there and go for uh, for 10 ticks okay oh sorry no no I said sorry let me take that for eight ticks sorry eight ticks is what I'd be after all right well there it would have hit 10 anyway but eight ticks is what I'm after now what I'm noticing here now there's a big difference between this and this or even over there see that see those differences there in the gapping see that gapping there but we wait for the super scalper to qualify it we don't have any gapping we don't have a t3 right now so what I'm waiting for here then is going to be a retracement a pullback now what about that one there the slingshot that we've got right there you actually had a slingshot there uh, I look maybe I might have taken it uh, and scalp but um, I'm not really sure okay so look when you when you're going back over charts like this some our emotional feelings are totally different that's why you got to err on the court on the edge of caution I've got to say oh yes I easily took that but I don't know if I would have so what am I now waiting for now what I'm waiting for is a retracement I'm waiting for a pullback here okay so uh, yes I do have some divergence here okay and now I formed a little double top see my white paper I've now got a little double top just there so can we take this because we've got divergence and a double top now let me say this if we only have divergence on our lowest time frame which is we call it um, a t19 a t19 is where you've only got divergence on this time frame okay uh, it's your lowest probability um, uh, and you you'll end up with a good 80 plus percent of the time you'll end up with a 34b here all right so uh, if we take this trade and it's actually qualified right now we would want to get out here uh, right there at the 34 very important you exit okay at the 34 because um, uh, you, look it's probably 85% you'll bounce so let's just say we take it because there's a good 10 ticks down to it okay bang we, we'd be wanting to get out now okay or I would be anyway okay so what I've got setting up here is what we call a 34b however see how it's leveled out I'm not interested in taking it until I have what we call the super scalper set up super scalper is my white paint bar and there it is there now remember that would not set up until now all right so now I'd be getting it set up and I would be long right now okay and I would have an eight tick stop now let me just tell you something here if I got in on the whoops shiver sorry I just want to on the close of that uh, that's a close of 94 a low now what we've got there is a 10 tick stop and that's the maximum stretch I would do on uh, and so my stops not going to be down below here and this is what you've got to be aware of so if you got in here uh, there and this is where big candles are what I call evil so if we got in on the close of that third candle way up there and we set our stop there at that low that was uh, sorry that was so if we got in there that was a close of 94 a low of 80 that's a 14 tick stop 
uh, just there alone all right so I really want to have that maximum 10 tick stop now if I was on Renko I'd do it but Renko is another um, it's another story <laughs> another time so uh, let's say I've got a 10 tick stop now there would be after a minimum of 10 ticks we would go to break even probably at plus seven let's just see what we did there all right so that closed at 94 uh, high of um, now that hit actually nine ticks so we're well and truly whacking in at least four or five ticks of profit and I'll tell you why look at the number we're bouncing off okay remember I said to you that we've got to take what the market will give us meaning it's all great in theory to say let's um, go for 20 ticks on every move but when we come up and hit the, uh, the around numbers the 80s the 64s the 20s and 50s uh, I can always get back in I want to get the cash register in in fact remember when I said five by five yes I can that's typical of a five by five scalp just there and it's not a 2b as well so that's typical for a scalp now what am I now looking for I'm looking for a retracement and a trend continuation and there it is right there now I want you to look at the difference on the 34 between there and there subtle that makes a huge difference so, and this is now 30 minutes into the open the difference is when you have a sideways market like the 30 it's only marginal but see how it's sort of going sideways I want my three higher closes when I'm trending I get a pullback and a bounce off the 34 I'm willing to enter on the first candle all right because I've got that trend remember this is a good 80% plus trade now I want to take that to the long side and away we go thank you very much a good 10 ticks there and there is another one just there now one thing I will say about the candles is this remember um, uh, we want to close in the upper one third or if we're going short in the lower one third that is very very important traders that we do that that we close in the upper or lower one third of the candle now what we'll now do now 27 minutes in let's just duck over to the two tick Renko and have a look at that just for a couple of minutes uh, wrong one let's go to this one this is what we want to be doing and let me just make sure that we've got the same spot let me just make sure if I got that on global let me just check this yep okay so what I want to do is I want to click there because what I want to do is pull up on the two tick now the two tick here it is oops I need to actually put some more data here let me just quickly do this and that's why ah let me go back two weeks two weeks back and do this now it's interesting at times we can comfortably trade oil during the York with it with a two tick Renko uh, but at times we all need to use the four tick but what I want to show you here is the difference in the smoothness now look at that there okay so look at these uh, beautiful bounces now 30 now that's five minutes of price action if you're trading a little tip for you if you really want to scalp you want to wait for the 2b pullbacks to take the scalps okay you want to have a deeper pullback you don't want to do your 34s you want to wait for your 2b's okay because if you're scalping in a fast market you're going to get more slippage now this is a two tick Renko so here we can see and and what I'm saying is that normally New York this time and that's a good that's seven minutes of price action using it would normally be using a four tick Renko but the reason you want to wherever possible providing you it's not going to cost you money that is it's just far too fast to be tradable if you trade with a two tick Renko you're only going to have typically an eight tick stop if you wait for the paint bar here if you're just waiting for what we call the rule of one you're only going to have a six tick stop which is 60 60 dollars uh, or 80 dollars compared to 
if you trade the four um, tick Renko here your stop is going to be um, $140 okay so that can make a big difference on your account size okay so you just want to really watch that but we love the two tick Renko's now I'm about to finish this video and we'll, we'll go and do another one but let's just have a look what's happening okay now I think uh, where's that little one tick Renko we had where I said I would have gone long where are we here just over here and let me do the same thing here just drag that way over here I think um, gee we've really had some uh, price movement where were we up I'm just trying to think we had that little double bottom 21 I think we are way back here so we can see the last 10 minutes has been a lot of price ah, here it is here remember I said over here I would have gone long and then time is against us then it turned into a 34 a 21 a 21 a 34 now this is all in six over six minutes uh, here there's your classic pivot bounce that's all in eight ten minutes there now don't be fooled by these little these little um, I call them steps step downs each one of those is worth ten dollars okay each step so to pick up your two hundred dollars you can do really well now when the market picks up like this this is where you want to expand what's happening on your higher time frame because that will smooth that out but anyway let me finish this one up and um, uh, we'll see about doing a another video here and just look at the let's just look at this before I do 31 minutes into this what I did just wanted to show you was here um, was the tick chart so here I've got a 50 tick chart the see the difference here on the 50 compared to the two tick Renko see you've got an entry there entry there that's called a rule of one by the way you've got an entry here entry here entry here now uh, quite often you don't have those entries in a fast moving market but your tick charts will give you a lot of what we call slingshot trades on the way down now in closing on this traders that say these strategies don't work are just lazy traders they're just lazy they are not willing to put the time in what you're looking for is this trade it's a fanning of the EMAs trend trading here you would have already wrapped up your day here and this is just a random day today okay and by the way this is a 2b after major divergence and let me just quickly explain this a, a, a 2b after major divergence see your divergence there and divergence here is a lower probability trade because a lot of these will turn into what we call an a b c note the angulation here angulation traders is when price is angling away and you've got separate and sorry you don't actually have a trade entry yet see how you don't have three lower closes yet one that's a red candle that white one two you've got to have three lower closes but what I'm saying here note how the EMAs are angling away from each other that's called angulation Bill Williams from profitunity is really um, that's where I really got the term from okay and this is where these little black dots these are your fractals so how would we use a fractal in this case for confirming that term well let me show you traders let me give you this now there's a fractal there so this is what Bill would do he'd draw out a horizontal line you take these highs and he would put a buy stop in one tick above you've now got a trade entry over here by the way just there just be aware this may come down all right eight ticks is, is you hit eight ticks pretty quick but this could also turn into an ABC all right but see here you've got another fractal you draw a horizontal line in. you've got another fractal one tick above you're always going for your most recent one there but now my most recent fractal is right there there was my long and that's what we call a fractal break 
confirming your new trade direction now what is important you want to see a close above the 21 EMA in fact uh, what bill he uses a different setting uh, he's got an offset moving average he would call it the gator teeth the teeth of the gator just there well the 21 models are very very closely not exact so you're looking for the close now one tick above one tick above finally you are stopped in to that long trade where would your stop go just below that little swing low just there you could use a tighter stop you could actually be down here under the 21 so what I mean here about this um, uh, little trade here that it could turn into an ABC what you've got to be aware of when you've got major angulation look at that there <coughs> uh, and major divergence there and there these are a much lower probability trend continuation trade so traders um, uh, become a member <laughs> come and join me make sure you get my calculator you can <coughs> excuse me download my free training manual even better still go and visit I'm a day trader become a member and um, uh, what I also include traders is eight two-hour coaching sessions as a bonus at the moment I've got going where you can attend my group coaching sessions which I run every Tuesday and Wednesday evening 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time if you can't attend it's because we've got members from all around the world uh, just one moment if you can't attend those sessions you can watch the recordings and you have lifetime access to the recordings but go and visit my website become a member thanks traders see you on my next video